Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to show you a few autumn outfits that I have been wearing on repeat or reaching for a lot recently. Autumn is definitely one of my favourite seasons. I love being able to put a coat back on or a jacket. Some of these outfits have new in items and some are just old from my wardrobe but I will find links for everything in the description bar down below and if it's no longer available I will try and find something similar for you guys. So this first outfit is an all white lighter coloured autumn outfit. This one I would not wear with Florence around. <laughs> so for this outfit the jacket is from Zara. This I picked up on my birthday on a little shopping trip with my friend and I absolutely love it. It's in this most beautiful fabric, sort of boucle check fabric. And then this is the rest of the outfit I'm wearing with it. These trousers are from Zara. They're their high-waisted sailor cut and I absolutely love these ones because they come so high. And I also have these in a floral white. But yeah, I just love the fit of these and I'm styling it with my Converse, so keeping it all very white and then with a pop of colour, quite subtle colour in the top and I really love this look. And this little t-shirt is from Primark a long time ago. I bought about three of these and I wear them all the time because they're just my favourite. I love a t-shirt with a little bit of texture that's slightly see-through, not completely, because I think it just gives a bit more interest to the t-shirt. So yeah, that's my first little outfit. I'd probably wear this with a little white bag, but currently Florence is asleep where my bags are and I don't want to disturb her. <laughs> so let me know what you think of this outfit. This is definitely a shopping girl's day out outfit for me. Absolutely obsessed with this jacket. I have it sitting like on the front of my wardrobe so I can just stare at it all the time. Um, that's how much I'm obsessed with it. I'm in the next outfit and this blouse I absolutely fell in love with the other day in M&S. So many beautiful details going on and it was such a reasonable price for what it is. It's in this gorgeous ready brown very dark ready brown shade and it's got little ferny leaf print all over it and little lace detailing. I just love it. It's in the Peruna range at M&S and I absolutely love that range. It's very me. It's got little tuck pleat details and it buttons up at the front and then it's got these amazing ruffles going on. I paired it with these amazing trousers from And Other Stories that I picked up last year or maybe the start of this year and I think they go really well with the silhouette of the blouse and then I've paired it with these Clark's brown boots and then if I were to wear a jacket with it I would put this one on from Pull and Bear that I bought years and years ago now but it is so cosy and I'm so glad I picked this coat up when I did because I haven't been able to find one quite the same that I like. So that is the second outfit. That is how I would style these pieces together. I recently popped into H&M for a little browse around and I fell in love with this jumper because it's just the coziest thing. It gives you a little hug on your shoulders. Um, the knitwear is super chunky and luxurious and it kind of reminds me of something that Cameron Diaz would wear in the holiday. <laughs> So I love this. I did just try a jacket on with it and it does not work with a jacket really. I guess you could try and just fling it on over the shoulders but you kind of get a serious hunchback look. <laughs> so that doesn't really work. But this would be the perfect jumper for going out for a nice dinner or just going out in the slightly warmer autumn days. And then I kept it super simple with its pairing and I just tucked it into these dark wash flared jeans from Zara and I've got my dark brown Clark's boots on again that are super comfy so it's a very easy outfit I love outfits like this they're just so comfy and easy to go with so yeah that is outfit number three for this next outfit I thought I'd show how I put it together and layer it up so I have on this striped thermal top from Brandy Melville. I love these tops so much. Every time I go to London, um, if I can, I pop into Brandy Melville and see which ones they have in each season. There you go. You can kind of see the stripes up close. And then I have on this skort from Zara. So it's shorts at the back 
and then skirt at the front. And I'm going to start by adding these knee-high boots from Zara. I got these boots secondhand on Depop, so they were a good find. I really like wearing taller boots with a short skirt because I feel like it sort of balances it out a bit especially if you're a bit taller and then I'm also going to chuck on this H&M jumper which has a nice chunky high neck I love the look of an oversized jumper with a little mini skirt I think it looks super cute this jumper is also a new season H&M so you should be able to find it if you like it and I picked it up in a medium because the small was very, I don't know, it just looked very fitted and I wanted it to be nice and loose and baggy and oversized looking. Next outfit is a very cosy, easy one. I'm wearing this amazing jacket from All Saints, which I've had for a few years. Um, and then underneath I have on this jumper dress from Uniqlo and I really, really love this color. I feel like it actually makes my pale skin look alive because <laughs> it sort of really picks up on the hints of the blush and everything in the makeup and I really love that. So this is the length of the dress and it has little slits down the side that don't go too high which is good because otherwise it gets really chilly when you've got slits that are really high and I'm wearing my Fairfax and Favour tall flat suede boots. So obviously you could belt this dress and it probably would look a bit more flattering but I actually really like the way it just sort of sits like this. Um, I think with my short hair it looks quite sort of modern <laughs> in a way um, and I never thought I'd be dressing to look modern but I quite like just keeping it simple and keeping it without the belt. I can't remember what size I picked up, I think this is a small. Um, and they did it in a few other colours, so yeah. And I've got a thermal top underneath it. You could literally layer so many things underneath this and no one would know. <laughs> okay, I think this is the last outfit now. This is, again, one of my favourites that I've been reaching to quite a few times already this autumn. I have on this jumper from H&M one or two years ago. I can't remember when I pick this up now but it's super cozy it's like a um, alpaca blend so it gives off that sort of mohair fluffy look without being super super itchy and then I've paired it with my favorite skirt at the moment which is from Free People I picked this up on ASOS and it was in the sale for I think about 80 pounds um, it's got little slits here I'm wearing it with my Fairfax and Favour suede boots again um, and yeah it's such a casual look but it's just I really love wearing skirts at this sort of position on my waist and having sort of like a baggy jumper yeah I just it's just so easy I can wear really chunky tights under this when I need to and I can layer up the top half I just realized I completely forgot to include this which has been like my favorite piece so far this autumn. This always happens, I always leave something downstairs because I use it all the time and then I forget to mention it. Um, but this is one of the green jackets that is going around everywhere. Yeah, obviously these are very on trend at the moment, um, but it's actually so cozy and I just chuck it on every morning to take Flory out for a walk. I think it probably does go with this outfit actually. And yeah, I love the silhouette at the back. I love the shape of it. And this was from Mango. Um, I think it was about 50 pounds. I think I managed to get a really good deal on this. You can also roll the sleeves up and that can look quite cool. So there we have it. There's a little bit of autumn outfit inspiration. Hopefully you guys took something away from this video. Um, as always, everything will be linked down below if you want to check out any of the items mentioned in the video. And yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.